Eat my lips! Tim! 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 Have you done a documented risk assessment for that? Tim! Tim! Did you know that oil was a chemical compound? Have you read the safety data sheet? Tim! 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 What? Have you assessed the likelihood and consequence of this task? You know I actually have to complete the task sometime today. <laughs> Alex, how are you, mate? G'day, good to see you, Tim. It's fantastic to see you too. Now, what we've just seen is what most people think of with safety, but you've got a particularly different bent to safety. Yeah, dead right. That comes right. out of your experience, is that correct? Absolutely, so I'm completely anti-box ticking and safety paperwork. No paperwork? No paperwork. I love you. <laughs> Tell me why that is. I mean, you're a safety consultant. You work with some rather large companies yep. and you also work with a lot of agribusiness. Yeah. Why are you anti-paperwork like I am and like most rational people are? Well, Tim, I, like lots of people, was heavily institutionalised into the bureaucratic view of work health and safety when I entered the mining industry way back in the 2000s. Yep. Fortunately for me, I came out of ag off a sheep station and I had practicality in my blood and that sooner or later sort of kicked in. It showed its face again. It did. It reared yeah. its face. Um, and it was kind of synonymous with the fact that I was working alongside my old man who was yep. from the bush. Yep. And you can imagine his appetite for this whole paperwork schmozzle. Yes. And so while I was being heavily institutionalised and watching his health deteriorate, I thought, gosh, there is this wild disconnect. You were doing all the paperwork and you yep. were forcing all this paperwork on people. And at the same time, your father, who you love, yep. is losing his health mm -hmm. in the same industry that you're doing all this paperwork in. That must have been an incredible conflict for you. It was enormous. And the tension was so great that I just thought, bugger it like I've got to I've got to have a crack at doing this differently and what and through that sort of process of exploring what that looked like I yep. was lucky enough to sort of hang around with some pretty cool people that are way smarter than I am um, and learned that there is just so much more to this space than just the box ticking the policies and the procedures so it's my mission to disrupt that narrative and just put health and safety front of mind and help people make choices that will keep them around for the, in the long run. And you're collecting some rather large companies along the way in your approach to this because there are some large companies out there that actually care for their staff. Well, Dad, well, paperwork. I mean, I think like fundamentally people don't go to work to get hurt and bosses don't employ people for that to happen either. And yet this intent of just don't kill someone or seriously hurt someone or don't die when you go to work gets lost in all this bureaucracy. So, so, so what's the solution? I mean, we've, we've had a historical lack of safety and we've had really high historical accident injury and death rates on farms in Australia yeah and it's been a case for a long time and some people would say we're actually seeing an improvement in that with the bureaucratization of safety in that space mm. how can we continue to improve because we need to things is yeah. you know regardless of all the paperwork we're doing mm. things are still bad in the egg space uh, how can we continue to improve that without having to have all of the paperwork in place? Well, I think it's a few things. I think, number one, we've got to get rid of this rubbish around paperwork because it's yep. just disempowering people to do anything differently. Number two, we have to flip the narrative from fear yep. and persecution of people for doing the wrong thing to, hey, actually, most of the time things go well, so let's turn up the volume on that. Yes. And so celebrate what we're doing well yep. rather than focus on what could go wrong. Absolutely. And the third thing is rather than focusing on potentially trivial stuff like slips, trips and falls. Let's just focus yep. on the stuff that we know could seriously hurt someone. You'll never talk to... Unguarded PTO shots, things exactly like that. Exactly right, yeah. Yep. And leverage that and leverage the expertise of the people who are actually doing the work yep. rather than potentially a bureaucrat or someone who, you know, presumes to know more than the people on the front line. Now, things like unguarded shafts and things like that on the farm, no amount of paperwork is going to make people check the guards before they start the tractor. So how do we accomplish that in a family business or in a small to medium size business, which most farms in Australia are? I think one of the biggest mistakes that anyone who's wanting to improve safety makes is that they tell people what to do. Yep. And ultimately, I think it's about handing the microphone back to the people who do the job, asking them the question, what could go wrong? How could it go wrong? And how can we better support you to make it go right most of the time? So you're still talking about having meetings, toolbox safety meetings, things like that, but Com not formalising them and actually empowering the people that are in those meetings yep. and not 
silencing them with paperwork. Absolutely. Oh, and I think conversation is one of the most powerful ways of inspiring someone to do something differently. It doesn't have to have the brand of a toolbox meeting. Yep. Um, it can be as informal as just doing it before you start the job. Alex, how can people get in touch with you and find out more about what you're doing in the safety space? Because it's actually quite exciting. You've got a program <laughs> called Plant a Seed for Safety. Yeah, that's it. Um, so how can people get in touch with you? I would head to Facebook or Instagram, look for Plant a Seed for Safety. Yep. Um, or there's the website plantaseedforsafety.com and I'd love to hear from anyone. And I'll be putting chat. a link in the description here. Beautiful. Do you have any final comments for us before we finish up? Uh, save a life, listen to your wife. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, it's fantastic to have Thanks, you on mate. the show. Um, I really appreciate what you're doing for safety. And um, let's have more of these discussions, I reckon, because Absolutely. practical approaches to how we can save people's lives yep. are far more important than 13 pages of paperwork. Dead right. Thanks very much, mate. Good right. Guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more on timthompson.ag. And I have a Patreon. Alex, see you next time. Catch you soon.